we're talking about something that really, that rocks, right? Something that does something with people, that gets people excited, motivated, really want to follow you because it really resonates with them. Well, there's always a part of setting direction in there. There's always a part of where is it going, right? And that's usually the part that we have well covered. If you don't have the ideas, then there is enough consultants out there that can help you figure out what the direction should be, or at least somewhat of, a, of an answer to that. Where it becomes more difficult is that it also requires that people feel something with it. They need to be inspired, they need to be enthusiastic, intrigued, provoked, whatever the, whatever the emotion is, but something needs to happen. A powerful vision doesn't just go through the brain, right? It also goes through the heart. It's something that you really want to be part of, that you want to join into. Uh, and that's what makes it difficult sometimes. Now, how do you get emotional engagement? You uh, can connect it to a noble cause, something more meaningful than just making a lot of money, which, by the way, is fine with me, but often noble causes have, a, have more depth to it. It doesn't mean that everything has to be about peace on earth, right? That, that would be, uh, but some, some, something that is a bit more meaningful than just, just having uh, big numbers, and or by its unconventionality, by something that we haven't really seen. Yeah? John F. Kennedy said we're going to put a man on the moon by the end of the decade was an unconventional thought at that moment. Right? It wasn't that everybody was saying, sure, sure, what else are we going to do? Right? <laughs> it's kind of like, a, yeah, wow, can we do that? Right? Is, that is that within reach? Yeah? Is, that, is that possible? That's what unconventionality does. It triggers people, gets people excited. Yeah? I think uh, uh, you know, Steve Jobs, to some extent, was pretty good at this. It's always looking at things unconventional, uh, unconventionality. And then there is a third part, which is important. Uh, for, a, for a vision to be powerful. You play an important role in your vision to be in order to be powerful. If you don't live accordingly, if you don't draw the consequences of your words, it's still not going to work for you. Yeah, if you're saying we should become much more sustainable, uh, I s the future of our organization is really on sustainability, and the next thing you do is buy the latest Hummer because you really love the car, yeah, people are just going to say, well, yeah, interesting ideas but you know or if you say we should become much more customer focused that's where customer put put customer at the center of everything we do and you have not seen a customer in the last five years people are just going to not believe you right so the integrity of your words are very important you will have to live accordingly which by the way requires you to understand what is it exactly that i stand for and many of us cannot really answer that question very easily what is it that i deeply care about what is it that is authentic about myself? How do I turn that authenticity into my story? Right? That's, that's, these are tough questions to answer if you want to make your uh, uh, vision powerful.